I want to talk about something that's going to really impress anyone that's coming to a, a, a backyard cookout, okay? So talk to me. So what we've done is we've done a reverse sear. salt and peppered the steak and I put it on a 200 to 220 degree smoker. So wait, so you first you smoked it. I smoked wait. it. So now you've got this thing, it's really rare, it's seasoned. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to the reverse sear part. Okay? Correct. So, so talk about that Correct. transition. So reverse sear means we've added the flavor first, that's in the smoke process, okay. and now we're gonna sear it. So we got a pan, got our reverse seared steaks, the pan is got hot. Old cast iron, yep. nice. I, and the reason why I like using cast iron is it holds heat. The steaks are going to absorb some of the heat. You can see it's pretty hot. We're going to drop the temperature really quick. Nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these steaks moving in the pan. That way they don't stick. And I'm going to get a nice even crust on the bottom of that steak. Oh, Phil. So you got a nice crust on there, very hot pan, locking those juices. And then we'll go ahead and flip these up. Because that's really going to add a lot to your seasoning. To, to render that fat down. Oh, absolutely. There. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my temperature down just a little bit because the pan's gonna keep a lot of that temperature. The searing is almost done. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over. I mean, see, look at that. Look at the oh, edges on that. Oh, yeah. Between the olive oil and the fat that you just rendered from the beef, and then you hit that butter. That's a combination of fat that adds nice complexity. Yep. And again, we're layering those flavors. Layering, the, layering the flavors, right. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. So I'm gonna add butter. I'm adding four cloves of shallots, okay. garlic, garlic, rosemary. You can add some thyme. I'm gonna yep. put a little oregano into this one. I mean, holy shit. We want you guys to be able to create great food in your backyard, but not in a complicated way. And now what we're doing is we're just cooking this to medium rare. We turn the heat down. On the reverse sear, about how long total are you talking about being in the cast iron skillet here? Oh, it's gonna be in for maybe four minutes. Two minutes at high heat, two minutes at a lower heat. And okay. then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. Yep. The outside of this steak has a huge amount of heat right now. Oh yeah. And this is where we're gonna, gonna get rest. we're gonna get carryover cooking. Yep. And also we're gonna let it rest. So carryover cooking. So it's just gonna sit, it's gonna continue to cook slowly. It's, it's gonna continue to cook here for yeah. the next six to seven minutes. Okay. And then it's gonna level out in temperature. Okay. And then we can slice it and it's gonna be beautiful. Nice. Nice. The total sensory experience is what we're providing here. For no extra money, you can make it so much better and cooler and impressive. Whether you're looking for inspiration for your next barbecue event, from recipes to rubs, meats, or even craft sausages, we've got you covered at barbecueathome.com.